Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Shanika, and today's morning yoga practice is going to be a refreshing one. We are going to be moving through um, various movements more fluidly um, as opposed to a more static practice. So this will really get the blood flowing and make you feel more energized for your day. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning and practicing with me today. Always remembering to hit that like and subscribe button so that you're notified each and every time I upload a video. So for this practice, you will not need any props and we will go ahead and get started in a seated position. So go ahead in your seated position, bringing your um, shins to cross like you were sitting cross-legged on the floor. Taking your hands onto your kneecaps, we're going to take a few cat-cow here. So inhale, shoot the chest forward, inhale, and exhale, round through the spine. So at the same time, you're pulling back on your knees and rounding in forward. Inhale, pull back on the knees and shoot the chest forward, inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale, shoot the chest forward. Lift the chest. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and find a neutral spine. From here, we're just gonna take a few circles. So you're gonna bring your chest over your left knee, around the front and over the right, just making very small, small movements. So you wanna make sure you're not forcing the movements. Just take it easy. Maybe you can make the circles a bit bigger. One more, and go ahead, just switch the crossing of your shin, just to even things out a bit, and taking those circles again. And coming back to center. So just crossing your shins the way that feels most comfortable for you and inhale with arms up. Take your right fingertips by your side. Inhale, look up and exhale. You're gonna swoosh your arm down the front of your shins. Left fingertips plant beside you, right arm comes up. Inhale, exhale, swoosh. Allow the head to be heavy. Two more. Last one. Inhale, both arms up. And go ahead from here, rock forward and find yourself in a tabletop position. From your tabletop position, you're gonna take your left ankle and cross it over your right knee. So it doesn't need to be um, parallel to the top of your mat. Your shin does not need to be parallel to the top of the mat. You can have your knee, left knee, pointing to the left corner of your mat, if that feels good. You're then gonna stick out your bum, and you're just going to sway from side to side. You should feel really nice in that left glute. Maybe you walk your hands more off the mat. Just finding what feels good here. Come back through center, plant your palms. So from here, tuck your right toes under, pick up your right knee and move your left ankle out so it comes right behind your left knee. Your right leg comes behind you, point your right toes, reach your right arm up, inhale, and exhale, reach your right fingertips towards the top of your mat and open your chest up towards the ceiling. For three, really reach those toes. 
two, and one. From here, you're going to push off of your left fingertips, left palm, and come all the way up. So from here, you're going to pivot now your left toes, so it comes directly behind your left knee, and bend generously into your right knee. So your right toes are now pointing towards the back of the mat. You can bring your hands to your hips. Just bend in here. One more breath. So from here, we're going to pivot again. So you're going to take your left shin directly behind your left knee. You might need to adjust a little bit so that you're in a low lunge position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swoosh your arms back. Bring your bum towards your heels. Inhale. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, swoosh back. Two more. And last one here, we'll hold it. Three, two, and one. Walking back forward, planting your palms, and just step your right foot back to meet the left. Shimmy out through the hips, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So this time, you're going to take the right ankle and cross it over the left knee. And you're just going to shimmy your hips from side to side. You can even walk all 10 fingertips off the left side of your mat. Enjoy that nice side body stretch. Come back through center. Tuck your left toes under, pick up your left knee, and bring your right foot directly behind your right knee. Extend your left leg behind you, lean your weight into your right palm, tuck your tailbone under, and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale here, and exhale, reach your left fingertips towards the top of the mat for three. A nice stretch through the left side body. Two. And one. So from here, we're going to come back up. So pushing into your left palm, you're going to come all the way up, pivoting your right foot behind your right knee. Bend your left knee and bend deeply into that left, left knee. Feel a nice stretch in the inner left groin. One more breath. We're going to pivot again, so swing your right foot, right shin to the back as if you were in a lunge. You might need to readjust. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, swoosh your arms back, bring your bum towards your heels. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, swoosh back. One more, inhale. And this one will hold, so swoosh back. Just hold it here for three, two, and one. Walk your hands back forward. Step back with the left foot so your knees are together again. Once your knees are together, bring your big toes to touch and sit back onto your heels. Bring your arms out to your side. Take a nice big inhale. And on your exhale, you're going to bring your left arm underneath the right for eagle arms. You can grab onto opposite elbows if that feels better. So draw your elbows away from you and your fingertips towards the ceiling. So your elbows are drawing away, fingertips towards the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, draw in. So tuck your tailbone under and draw your elbows in towards your tummy. Inhale, lift up, and exhale. One more inhale, 
and exhale. Inhale, lift up, release, open your arms, inhale. And exhale, opposite arm. So right arm underneath the left. Draw your elbows away from you, fingertips towards the ceiling, inhale. And exhale, draw in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw in. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Opening up your arms, inhale. And exhale, bring your hands down by your side. So from here, you're going to bring your right fingertips just beside your, your right sit bone. You're going to look up underneath your left arm, inhale. Exhale, you're going to come down, around, bring your left fingertips beside you, and inhale your right arm up. Exhale, right arm comes down and around, left arm comes up. One more, left arm comes down and around, and right arm goes up. This time, you're going to push your hips forward. So push your hips forward, lean to the side, not necessarily to the back. Exhale, bring your bum towards your heels, come down around the front, and inhale up again. Push your hips towards the front of the room. Inhale. Exhale, swoosh down. Around and up. Last one here. Right arm down, around, and up. Go ahead, bring your bum back to your heels. Sitting up straight and tall. Inhale here. And exhale, sigh it out. Go ahead, find that tabletop position. Bring your knees wide, big toes to touch. Send your hips back for a child's pose. Lift our gaze, come forward, right onto our bellies, and we'll roll, and we'll roll right onto our backs. For our Shavasana. So your arms out wide. Taking these few moments here to set your intention for the day.
I hope you enjoyed this morning refresh practice. That you go on to have a wonderful rest of your day.